Hey, it's Joe Glines. And uh, recently someone wrote me and asked me if uh, if I had a tool that would basically come in here when you copy something to the clipboard, let's say I copy this, it would um, allow you to just keep the URLs instead of the text. Like if you paste this as plain text, it'll keep the seller in inventory, not the hyperlink. And what he wanted was the hyperlink. So um, I, I created a tool, Maestruth and I, Maestruth, um, I created part of it and he made it of course much better uh but it's a, a tool that does it does it in a bit more and that's easy to adapt to your needs so let me just demonstrate it first so right now i have it set with my hotkey so browser back it actually what it's going to do is i don't even have to have it in the clipboard i just go and highlight something and when i hit my hotkey it goes and notice it's dumping it into the uh, studio output window and, and it puts it into an object because if, if you have more than one thing selected, I wanted to have each of these where it would be able to grab each one, right? So under the first one, here's the text to seller, the source page, that's my, my start page, and then the href is the actual URL, right? If we were in, uh, let's go to another page, let's say we were on the forum and you highlight the text and run it um it'll so that's where the uh the page changes right it changes to this not necessarily if you want it but i figured you know what it's just nicer to have it and uh the the text it has the text and it has the or the href or the url so if that's all you want then um like in this example right now it's dumping all that into an object and it's not doing anything with it if you actually wanted to access like in that one that would be because this is the object right here so it would be clip so let's do a message box clip dot one dot href so basically whatever you're you've named it right here this is the object right we're calling it clip and then so that's the object here and this is gonna be the first one because there's only one in this case and then um href is what we want so now when i rerun this uh, i gotta save it and relaunch it uh, now when i come in here and i have it highlighted and I run it, we're going to see a message box that has the URL, right? That, of course, you could you could just send to paste it. You could do what you want with it, right? I, I don't know necessarily what the person that asked me about this wanted to do with it. So I wanted to make this more flexible where it has an object uh, and that object is uh, it basically it has the different data if we highlight a bunch of stuff, right? So you could do it with That'll just bring the first one. But in here, you'll see there were eight things and each one of them you have. So it's uh, it's pretty flexible, right, for, for what your needs are. You just um, If you just want the first one, then just do like my example up here, getting the URL, and that's what you would either send to paste or store or do something with it. Um, you have to get these two libraries, the WinClip API and the WinClip. Those um, are on the forum. I'll put in the link in the description where you can get those and download those and then of course use this uh, script uh, and, and real quickly here so we create a com objects is because the data gets returned from that uh, the win API stuff and there's HTML in there and so we we grab that and then throw it into a um, a file a data file and then we parse through it and use uh, the Dom to, to grab just what we want from it um, which is down, I forget where that was, down in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, here we get all elements by A, so we get all the A tags, um, and, and then go and parse it. But um, anyway, hope that helps. Cheers.